Hello everybody, this is Dr. Imran. I am going to present to you another important lecture of the course Electrical Engineering Fundamentals. In this lecture, I will explain about the single loop circuit and the single node pair circuit along with some related examples. Uh, first, I will take the single loop circuit, properly explain it and then apply the Kirchhoff voltage law on it by using some important examples. I will then explain about the single node pair circuit, properly identify the node in that circuit and then apply Kirchhoff control on it by using some examples. Before you watch this video, I suggest to revise about the Kirchhoff control and Kirchhoff voltage law. And for this, I suggest to refer to lecture 4 and lecture 5 of this course. So let's watch this video and get some valuable information about the single loop circuit and the single node pair circuit. The single loop circuit, all of the elements in a circuit that carry the same current are said to be connected in series and the circuit is said to be a single loop circuit. For example, the two batteries and two resistors together as shown by this figure constitute a single loop circuit diagram. This is one battery, this is another battery, this is one resistor and this is another resistor and the circuit diagram for this practical circuit is shown by this figure this is one independent source this is another independent source vs1 is the voltage of this battery and vs2 is the voltage of this battery while r1 shows this resistance and r2 shows this resistance so this circuit shows a best example for the single loop circuit. We further analyze a single loop uh, circuit and for this purpose we take uh, this uh, circuit diagram as an example and uh, this is the same uh, circuit uh, what we discussed a little while ago in the previous PPT. We find the current through each resistor R1 and R2. The voltage across each resistor and the power absorbed by each resistor. So the first step is to take the assumption of reference direction for the unknown current. So what should be the direction of the current? For that, we need uh, to take one voltage source as a reference. We need to take either this voltage source as a reference or we need to take this voltage source as a reference. In this case, I took this uh, voltage source as a reference. With reference to this voltage source, the direction of the current should, should be anti-clockwise like this as I have already shown here by the red arrows here which makes one loop here. The second step is to find the voltage reference for each of the two resistors R1 and R2. Suppose Vr1 is the voltage drop across the, this resistor R1 and Vr2 is the voltage drop across the resistor R2. So what should be the polarities of the voltage across Vr1 and Vr2? Again, we will look at what we have taken as a reference voltage. So according to the polarities of the voltage source, the Vr1 should have this polarity plus and minus and Vr2 should have this polarity plus and minus. The third step is the application of Kirchhoff voltage law to the closed path. So we apply the Kirchhoff voltage law and the Kirchhoff voltage uh, equation is shown here. Vs1 minus Vr1 minus Vs2 minus Vr2 is equal to 0. Vs1 is the voltage of this voltage source with plus sign. It is because of uh, the polarity of uh, the Vs1. If we follow this direction that is from voltage drop to the voltage rise side then we will write plus sign with Vs1. If we follow this direction across the resistor R1 so it means that we will go from voltage rise to voltage drop side and hence we write minus sign with Vr1. Similarly we can write minus sign with Vs2 and minus sign with Vr2. 
it is because of the polarities of this voltage source and the polarities across R2. According to this figure, same current I flows across this loop. Hence, we can replace VR1 and VR2 by IR1 and IR2. We can find I from the above equation. I is equal to Vs1 minus Vs2 over R1 plus R2. Once we know I, then we can find the voltage drop across the resistor R1, which is R1 equal to I into R1. We can also find the power drop across this resistor R1, which is I into Vr1. We can also find Vr2, which is the voltage drop across the resistor R2, once we know I. And we can also find the power drop across the resistor R2, which is shown by this equation I Vr2. Hence, we successfully analyzed a single loop circuit by taking this voltage source as a reference. Let me show you uh, another possibility of the analysis. For example, I take this voltage source as a reference, then the direction of the current will be anti-clockwise, opposite to the current what we took with reference to this voltage source. If the direction of the current is anti-clockwise, then the polarities across VR1 will be changed too. It will be plus and minus and across R2 it will be plus and minus. Just keep in mind that the polarities is with respect to the anti-clockwise direction of the current. The single node pair circuit. In a circuit, if any number of elements are connected between the same pair of node and the voltage across each branch is the same as that across any other branch, then such circuit is called single node pair circuit as shown in this figure. This circuit consists of four circuit element, 120 ampere current source, resistor R1 with this value, another current source with 30 ampere, and uh, resistor R2 with this value. So this circuit uh, can have two nodes, one upper node, this one, and one lower node, this one. This circuit is redrawn here, you can see in the next figure, and uh, I have clearly mentioned here the two nodes. This one is uh, node N1, and this one is the reference node for this circuit. But make sure that uh, I have taken this uh, independent current source as a reference for this circuit. So if I take this uh, current source as a reference, then uh, the main node of this circuit will be this and one, while this will be the reference node for this circuit. If I take this uh, 30 ampere source uh, as a reference, then the upper node will be N reference and while the lower node will be the main node of this. So try to understand about this. I have also mentioned the voltage V with polarity plus and minus and this polarity is with respect to this current source. The voltage V will be the same across all the circuit element. That is, V will be the voltage across R1, across this 30 milliampere source and across resistor R2 and also across 120 ampere. This clearly shows that a single node pair circuit is a circuit over which there will be the same voltage across all the circuit elements. You can also see here that I have labeled I1 and I2. I1 is the current across R1 and I2 is the current across this resistor R2. So this circuit is a perfect example now in order to apply the Kirchhoff current law at node N1 and further analyze it. We further analyze the single node pair circuit by taking an example. Find the voltage, current and power associated with each resistor in the circuit of the figure as shown here. This is the same circuit what we described a little while ago in the previous PPT. You can see that this circuit has two nodes, one upper node and one lower node and reference. Okay. And one is the main node of this circuit. And this is because I took 120 ampere as a reference for this circuit. 
if n1 is the main node of this circuit then this will be the reference node for n1 keeping in mind that this v is the same voltage across all the circuit element that is it will be the voltage across 120 ampere source across resistor r1 across this 30 ampere source and across the resistor r2 so what we need to find we need to find v and this is the node voltage here in order to find v we need to apply kirchhoff current law and before kirchhoff current law we must know about the current entering and leaving directions this 120 ampere will be the current entering to this node while i1 is the current leaving to this node and the 30 ampere current is also the current leaving to this node and i2 is the current which is also leaving to this node so once we know the entering and leaving current directions then we can apply kirchhoff current law very easily to this main node and uh, the kirchhoff current law equation is shown here by this equation 120 ampere minus i1 minus 30 ampere minus i2 120 ampere is this current entering to the node and that's why i write plus sign with this minus i1 is the current across resistor r1 minus sign is y because it is the current living to this node minus 30 ampere is the current living to the node also i2 current is also living to the node so that's why we write minus sign with this so our aim is to find v we then replace i1 and i2 by v over r1 and v over r2 keeping in mind that v is the same voltage across all the circuit element and this is uh, the property of the single node pair circuit after solving this circuit we find the node voltage v here which is equal to 2 volt once we know the node voltage v then we can easily find the i1 current which is the current across r1 and that is shown by v over 1 we know the value of v and uh, the resistance of this r1 so by putting values uh, we have the i1 current which is 60 ampere in the same way we can find i2 i2 is the current across this resistor r2 once we have the value of v and r2 then we can find i2 very easily and that is 30 ampere so what about the power across r1 and across a resistor r2 the power across the resistor r1 is shown by this relation pr1 i1 into v and that is 120 watt and the power drop across the resistor r2 this is shown by this relation pr2 is equal to i2 v so by putting values we can have the power 60 watt across this resistor r2 we take another example to further clarify about the, the single node pair circuit. Determine the value of voltage V and the power supplied by the independent current source as shown by this figure. First we try to understand about this circuit. It consists of 4 circuit element, 6 kilo ohm resistor, the dependent current source having value 2Ix the independent current source having value 24 milliampere and the 2 kilo ohm resistor keeping in mind that this voltage v is the same voltage across all the circuit element that is v will be the voltage across this 6 kilo ohm resistor across this dependent source and across the independent current source and across 2 kilo ohm resistor I further redrawn the above circuit as shown below in order to further clarify about the nodes and currents. You can see that this can be node N1 of this circuit and this can be the reference node for this circuit. N1 and reference is with respect to this independent current source. I also labeled I6 which is the current across this 6 kilo ohm resistor. So this circuit is a perfect example in order to apply Kirchhoff current law on the upper node and to find V after that.
So before we apply KCL, we need uh, to draw the current direction, that is which currents are entering to the node and which currents are the current leaving to this node. Ix will be the current entering to the node. The current of this independent current source is also entering to the node and the current of this dependent source is also entering to this node. While I6, which is the current across 6 ohm resistor, is the current leaving to this node. Once we draw the direction of the current leaving and entering to the node, then it will be easy for us to apply Kirchhoff current law. And this is shown by this expression. You can see minus I6 plus 2 Ix plus 24 milliampere plus Ix is equal to 0. The only current leaving to this node is I6, so that's why I have written minus sign with this I6, while the other currents are the currents entering to the node, so that's why I have written plus sign with all. We need to find the unknown currents in the above equation. The unknown currents are I6 and Ix. If V is the same voltage across all the circuit element, then I6 can be easily found by this equation. V over 6 kilo ohm. And Ix can be equal to minus V over 2 kilo ohm. I have written minus sign with this V. It is because if we see the polarities of the voltage here, plus and minus, and uh, if we see the direction of the current, so one parameter should be minus. That's why I have written minus sign with the, this voltage. Putting the values of I6 and Ix in the above equation, we can have this equation. The only unknown parameter in this equation is the voltage V, which is the node voltage here. After solving this equation, we have the node voltage, which is 16.4 volt. This is the first part of uh, this question we solved, which is the node voltage. The second part is the power supplied by the independent current source. This one is the independent current source. So the power supplied by the independent current source is shown by this uh, expression. If we have the node voltage, then we can find the power supplied by the independent uh, current source. And that is uh, 14 into 4 into 0 0.024, which is equal to 0 0.345 watt. This example further clarify about the single node pair circuit. What we need to find, we need to find a node voltage and for the node voltage, we need to apply the Kirchhoff current law on that node. And before we apply the Kirchhoff current law, we must have uh, the current entering and the current leaving directions. Once we label which currents are entering and which currents are leaving to the node, then we can simply apply Kirchhoff current law. And that is what we did in this example. This is the end of uh, this video. Make sure to subscribe, like and share this video and uh, the channel EEP. Thanks for watching.